service announcement. Stop eating cheese. Okay, here's the deal. This is coming out in the week between Christmas and New Year's. So it's that weird time where you're like mostly off of work. Kids are home from school. Everybody's not really sure what to do with themselves. Every day feels like a Saturday and you're just living off cheese and dip and leftover cookies, like stale chocolate dip, dip pretzels, right? And the kids are playing with their toys and you thought that that would last the whole week, but really it lasts for like two days and then everyone's going crazy. So I want to tell you about how your brain works. Your brain needs to be told what to do. You think that you just wake up and your basic programming tells it what to do. And your basic programming does tell you to breathe. Good job, brain. And it remembers how to drive a car, remembers how to walk. So there are some things that your brain does very well automatically. But knowing what to do with the day, definitely not automatic. And if you don't direct your brain, it's mostly going to act like a toddler. As evidenced by as soon as we take external structure away from your life, it devolves into Netflix and cheese. Hardcore. And so that's not a problem. We love you, brain. You're doing a good job. You've kept us alive this far. But we don't have to let our brain run the show. So for me, I now know that when I wake up and we have a day where nothing is planned, it is alarming to me. I'm like, whoa, this is not good. It is not good to have a wide open day with no plans. Now, I'm not a hyper scheduler. I don't schedule my life down to the each half an hour. But even on a Saturday, even if we have a Saturday with no plans, husband, no plans, I have no plans, kids, no plans. I'm like, ooh, if I just let the day play out, everyone will get a little crunchy. Everyone's a little kind of wandering around, not knowing what to do with themselves. And so I have to direct my brain to create some structure. And then I have to communicate it to everybody else's brain so that their brain can go, oh, okay, this is the structure. Even if it's something like, we're going to have free time for two hours. Then we're going to go outside and go for a walk for an hour. Then we're going to come back and have lunch and we'll decide what to do with the rest of the day. <sighs> now the brains are like, okay, yes, that is a plan. But with no plan, they just act like toddlers. They want to watch TV. They want to stay in their jammies. They want to eat all the fun food. Right? That's what your brain naturally wants to do for most people's brains and certainly for your kids with no structure. We really like structure. We really like plans. And again, when you hear the plan that I made for a random Saturday, it wasn't hyper scheduled. It was pretty open, actually. But it just gave a little bit of, oh, yeah, free time for a little bit, then a walk, then lunch, then we'll decide about the rest of the day. Just that little bit makes us feel more safe. And then when we feel safe, we make better decisions. Because having no structure and just allowing your brain to think, just go try it. You're probably doing it right now. And it'll be like, life is hard. I don't know if my husband likes me. The kids are all going to turn out to be, you know, criminals. Right? I don't really have any friends. I don't like the way that I look. What am I even doing with my life? Like if you have a day with nothing planned, this is where your brain will go. And then that will feel low level anxious. And so that's why we are like, oh, let's order a pizza. Oh, let's watch a movie. And none of those things are intrinsically wrong, but we just don't want to live letting our toddler brain run the show. Okay. We're not going to let your toddler brain run the show. When your toddler brain runs the show, we're just eating cheese for breakfast. We're eating pie for lunch. And we're like scraping through and deciding, do those chocolate oranges really taste good? Because they look kind of waxy to me. All right. And whether you're listening to this in the week before Christmas and New Year's or at a totally different time, it's the same message, which is brains don't do well with no structure. We want to give them a little bit of structure if we want to grow as people and achieve our goals and experience happiness and satisfaction. So one way that you can do that 
is you can join us in Masters on January 1st. We are kicking off the Fit and Holy Challenge. So fun. Every week we will give you a fit challenge, something to do with health. And then every week we will also give you a faith challenge, a holiness challenge, something to do with our faith. And then every week you will also be tracking your water, your sleep, your exercise, and doing a model every day. If you don't know what a model is, go listen to episode two, maybe, maybe episode two where I talk about models. And so you get points for all these things and everyone competes for points and there's prizes every week and we're all cheering each other on. It's really fun. This is a really fun challenge. And what it does is it just gives your brain a little bit of structure. It's like, hey, hey, drink that glass of water. Are we going to get enough sleep tonight? Did we go for a short walk? I mean, the requirements are pretty low. I'm not like, this isn't 75 hard, my friends. Okay, we're not doing that. It's just like a little bit of structure to bring some awareness to the things you want to be doing. You want to live a fit and holy life. And so if you're not part of Masters, just get in there. Join us for January. This is exactly how you want to start your year with gentle scaffolding, right? We're not going to go extreme. We're not going to like kick everything out, go no flour, no sugar, intermittent fasting, right? Train for a Spartan race. We're not going to do that. We're just going to be like, hey, let's put in some, a little bit of scaffolding for some basic things that you want to be doing. And we're going to do it with love and gentleness. And we're going to talk about how to do that, how to do it from love instead of white knuckling it and beating yourself up and telling yourself you're a, you're a garbage human. And so from there, we're going to work on these goals. So throughout the month, we're also going to be teaching you about how to do it in a way that you've never done goals before, right? Really, really built on the foundation of love and who we are in Christ. And that is why most of the women that go through the Fit and Holy Challenge create these habits and they stay. It's a really beautiful thing. So that starts January 1st. I love you. Stop eating cheese if it's making your tummy hurt. Create a little bit of structure for your day. Doesn't have to be a ton, just a little bit, because that makes all the human brains a little happier, and that's what you really want. Thank you so much for listening, and have a blessed day.